Shoulder flexion. The position of the client of shoulder flexion is seat or supine. For the shoulder flexion, the axis is in the center of the humeral head, just distal to the acromion process on the lateral aspect of the humerus. The stationary bar is parallel to the trunk as the movable bar is parallel to the humerus. Shoulder extension. The position of the client is seat or prone with no obstruction behind the humerus and the humerus initial rotation. For shoulder extension, the position of the goniometer is same as for the shoulder flexion. But the exit point remains the same for starting with final position. Movement should be accompanied by a slight upward tilt of the scapula. Excessive scapula motion should be avoided. Shoulder abduction. The position of the patient is seat or line prone, with the humerus in adduction and external rotation. The axis is on the acromion process on the posterior surface of the shoulder. The stationary bar is parallel to the trunk and the mobile bar is parallel to the humerus. Shoulder horizontal abduction. The position of the patient is sit erect with the shoulder to be test abduct to 90 degree, the elbow extend and the palm facing down. The axis is over the acromion process. The stationary bar is parallel over the shoulder toward the neck. The mobile bar is parallel to the humerus on the superior aspect. Shoulder horizontal abduction. The position of the client is same as for the horizontal abduction. The axis is same for the horizontal abduction. That is, the axis is over the acromion process. The stationary bar is parallel over the shoulder towards the deck, and the movable bar is parallel to the humerus on the superior aspect. Shoulder internal rotation. The position of client is seat with humerus adapted against trunk elbow at 90 degrees and forearm at mid position and perpendicular to the body. The axis is at the olecranal process of the elbow. The stationary bar and movable bar are parallel to the forearm. Shoulder external rotation. The position of client is seat, the humerus is adapted, the elbow at 90 degrees and the forearm is mid position perpendicular to the body. The axis is on the olecranon process of the elbow.